Hey guys, it's Jason at Carnage Diagnostics. In today's video, I wanted to go over how you would go about finding a misfire if you can't swap the coils and the plugs because there's too much stuff in the way. You have the intake plenum, you have the high pressure fuel lines going over everything, and it's just a pain. So these steps are gonna help you see the problem without having to actually unhook anything. The first thing I would do is grab a relative compression test. It's called RC for short. Trucks like this, you can just hold the gas pedal down and crank it and it won't, it won't send any fuel. And you'll get a waveform and if, if one of the spikes are below the other spikes, or it's flat, then you have a bigger problem than just swapping the plugs and coils anyway. So you kind of save yourself some time. Um, the other thing I'll do is a lot of the coils will either share the same signal wire that they like a confirmation wire or you can scope the ground and you, you'll be able to catch all of them fire like that. In this case, you can just go to power and you'll see the branches go up. Um, again, I'm going to show you all this. This there's nothing wrong with this vehicle. I'm just trying to show you an example of how to do it and what it would look like. So it would help you learn a different technique other than just swapping plugs and coils. This truck is very easy to swap plugs and coils. So I wouldn't go through all this. I would really just swap a plug and a coil and see if it changed. But like I said, in a case where you can't get to anything because it's all covered, this stuff will help save you. Also in this video, I'm not using the Pico. I'm not using the Pico. I'm using the all telescope. It's more affordable for most people. I'm not using the uh, Pico amp clamps. I'm using the Handtech, Handtech amp clamps. So you'll be able to see what all that looks like. It's, it's a lot cheaper option than going the Pico route, but Pico is better. All right, guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you what an RC compression test looks like with this red line. Go up and pause it. Okay, so each one of these peaks is the starter pushing the engine. So you want them to all be the same. And if you ran a sync from uh, cylinder one and pretend it was like right here, keep in mind that it's not one, two, three, four, five, six, it goes with the firing order. So it would actually be uh, one, five, four, eight, six, three, seven, and two. So I'm actually going to take a plug out just so you can see the, the difference of what it would look like if you had a dead cylinder. So again, I'm gonna, I took the plug out and we're going to see what it looks like with a plug missing, simulating like a dead cylinder. You see it missing right here? That's the one I just pulled the plug out of. You get a car like that, no bueno. You don't have to worry about swapping over plugs and coils. Something is mechanically wrong. You need more checkout time to figure out what's going on and the motor probably has to come apart. So now I'm going to put the plug back in. I want to show you what it looks like running with everything hooked up. I'm going to show you what all the injectors would look like and what all of the coils would look like if you wanted to see them all on the screen. Not, not just individually, but just to see if they're firing. You guys see that? Blue is for the coils and green's for the injector. All right, so I was wrong about that. This one was fuel, this one was the coils. So here's your count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If one of these, one of these branches were missing, then I know that the, a coil's not firing. And up here, 
if you zoom in on this, uh, I probably went too far. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So all the injectors are, are uh, it looks like they're all firing. All right, so I'm, now I'm gonna unplug this coil um, and show you what it would look like with the coil gone. So there you go, you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's no eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's no eight. So if I do the RC test first and it looks good, I do this and, and the coil is not firing, um, but the injector is good, then I know that I'm looking at a coil or a wiring issue with the coil. I have a planned route now. Instead of just swapping stuff, putting everything back together, which like I said, can be a pain. Now I have a, like a route. I know exactly where I'm going. I know exactly what it is. And it doesn't take long to look up what fuses power what or where you have to go. So I just wanted to show you how I had it hooked up here real quick in case you guys were wondering. I just, this is for the coils. I just ran a, uh, a loop to that, to that Hanatech uh, amp clamp. And right here, I just touched my, uh, my lead on here and I zoomed in on the graph. Um, the big amp clamp, I don't know if you can see it, it's down, it's down there. Normally the cars are easier to hook up for amp clamp, but Ford likes to bury the starter wire down through here, so it's a little hard to get to, but it's just, it's just down there, it's not that bad. Alright guys, I hope you learned a different approach today. Um, again, it doesn't apply to this particular 5.0 because everything is super easy to get to. I'm just trying to show you an example of how to do this stuff for the cars where everything is buried because some of these cars are, they're making it so hard just to do plugs anymore. So um, like and subscribe, uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I'm gonna put links to the stuff on the channel. And again, if you buy something from the channel, it helps support me. So uh, thank you and see you next time.